Hello, and welcome to another episode of the iPad Lettering Show. My name is Karen. I am from iPad Lettering, bringing you the best tips and tricks about anything iPad related. Today's episode is all about galaxies. This is what you've asked for for so long and finally I've made a set of beautiful new galaxy brushes and I'm going to show you how you can use them. So ha let's have a quick look at what's included in our um, IPL galaxy brush library. So we have some different stars, then we have different nebulas, we have some moons and we also have the ultimate edge brush. And this brush is one that I have had for quite a long time and I kind of kept to myself and I feel bad about it because I should really share this with you. This brush is not just for galaxies, but this is a very, very versatile brush that you can use for many watercolor paintings and all sorts of different things. This brush is all, also really good for smudging, as you will see shortly. So now what's also included with your galaxy brush pack is actually a galaxy canvas. Let's have a look what's included. So if you open up the layers panel, you can see that we have a paint layer here, which is pre-selected. We also have guides. So if you wanted to add some lettering here, you can use those guides. And then we also have a number of textures. So let's have a look here so you can see a number of different layers for textures. And then also a sketching layer here at the top, which you most probably won't need for your galaxy, but if you have something in mind and you want to sketch out some elements, then I recommend that you use the layer here. All right, so now let's get started. Let's start with a background and I'm going to just choose black and I will use the ultimate edge brush to show you how this works. You don't have to use this brush. You can use pretty much any brush you want, but I just want to use this to start with so I can show you how it works. And I'll make it reasonably big. And you can see now, sometimes this brush is a bit temperamental. And you really want to try different sizes to see what feels best to you. So now the reason why I'm calling this ultimate edge is because it creates this edge. And you can see it kind of smudges as I paint. And it creates this beautiful edge. Now, for a galaxy, you might not need this, but I still think it's a really cool brush that you can use for this background. So definitely try all sorts of different strokes. Also type, try tapping it to see what it does, and then try um, painting on top of it. And just try some different techniques to see what you can get out of this brush. So I really, really love using this and I actually use this for almost all my paintings. So now let's choose different color. Let's choose purple. I'm going to create some purple here as well for our galaxy background. And you can see as I paint, it also smudges, which is super cool. So I can create this beautiful background and paint and smudge at the same time while I also get the background for my template. So now let's make it a little bit lighter and then let's also add a little bit of blue And as you can see again, this is kind of painting and smudging at the same time. And if you don't like what you see, you can just carry on painting and then it kind of smudges it out. All right, and then we'll also add some pink. So I'll, over the blue, I like adding that red pinkish sort of tone in a few areas. And then we'll also add some yellow on top as well because that kind of looks very beautiful. So now you see here, this red here is a bit intense in there as well, but don't worry, I'll show you how you can fix that. I'm just going to add some yellow as well. So you can sort of create this yellow orange. And then here as well. And again, this is quite intense. So now what you can do is actually use the same brush with your smudging tool. So you see I've got the ultimate edge brush selected here. And now, 
we can smudge this out really beautifully and so definitely try using a bit of pressure and as you can see if you come in from the side you can push the colors together like this and then you can form any type of shape you want with the pixels that you have on your canvas so let's try this again so you're coming from the side and you can see how if you push, push in from the side i can kind of push the black on top of the yellow and then if you if i feel this is too much i can kind of push the yellow back and kind of smudge and push the colors around to create any shape that i want which is very very cool So this is super super versatile you can really use this brush for a lot of different things so this is not too bad we have a couple of lighter areas which looks good and of course now um, you can carry on creating your background for your galaxy for as long as you want but let's move on and I'll show you some of the other brushes as well some of the nebulas so now what I recommend is actually create a new layer so that you can try different nebulas. And then we'll use white and we'll use the nebula and stars to start with. And here you can change the size. And this brush is pressure sensitive. So if you only press lightly, it doesn't create too many pixels on the canvas. But then if you tap it or brush a little bit harder, adds more pixels to the canvas let's add another new layer and try the random nebula brush so this creates some sort of random cloudy pieces of nebula maybe add that to the corner a little bit there and then we'll do another new layer and try the scattered nebula and so we'll just bring this down a bit there Add it here and maybe at the top there and you can see now it's sort of getting a little bit crowded with all our nebulas but that's why we have the different layers so if you feel it's too much you can always turn your layers off back on and see what it looks like I might leave this off for now but then I want to show you the big nebula so this one creates a lot of stars and has quite a bit of color in it and then we also have a cloudy nebula which is more of a sort of a cloudy background and that's usually the um, brush I use and then I would put this at the back of my stack and then let's create a new layer and also use the Milky Way Milky Way as well, we can change the size and definitely try different sizes and it's pressure sensitive so the more you press the darker it gets. For now I'm going to take these layers off so you can see what this looks like. For now we just have a little Milky Way here. Like that. Now now let's bring back some of our other layers, maybe turn this off again. It's too much. Right. And then um, we can also add some stars, of course. And some moons. So we have a full moon here. Let's just paint this as a massive big moon. This is actually a real photo of a real moon that I've um, converted into the brush so you can resize it and then maybe put it there and we also have a partial moon as well which looks like this this brush is also pressure sensitive so you can see you can make sort of different size moons if you want more than one but I don't want more than one I just want this one here I might put that up there like this and then we can add some stars so with the stars I definitely recommend that you uh, create these on a new layer because what you want to do now you can sort of 
draw some random stars and you can see also this brush is pressure sensitive the more you press down the bigger the stars are going to get so you can scatter these stars around and i feel like these these are a bit too big so i'll clear the layer and i'll start again and i want some smaller stars i'm just going to paint them in here maybe around the moon is nice and then what you can do now, uh, you can actually blur these, which looks quite nice. So if you do Gaussian blur, they sort of fade into the background. And then on a new layer, you can paint some more stars on top, which creates quite a nice effect, which is nice. And then we have some different stars as well. You can try these ones. They're just different shapes and they give you a sort of a bit of a different dimension to your galaxy and then we've also got these ones which create some um, which create some bright sparks here with just a few and there you have it uh, this is a galaxy all made on the ipad with the brand new ipl galaxy brush set the link to these brushes is in the description. And as always, if you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel to see more videos and more tutorials. And anything you would like to add, please leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.